Welcome in everyone for episode 23 of the Bro Link. As always, I'm joined by Aquatic Eileen here. Good day everyone and happy Hobbit Day. Yep, you're Stalker. You're Poke Stalker. <laughs> yep, he needs a day all to himself. Yep, he gets a whole six hours where for... Do you give something? Oh, right. He gives stuff. Yeah, I don't think I have anything lower than 12 inches though. Oh, I almost forgot I had to evolve my spritz. Uh, but if you guys missed the last episode, you can go check it out. Uh, we're on Hylian's channel, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hey, time and that we took on the gym, and then right at the end, his emulator crashed on us, so he just had to play right back through all that, so... Itch. I remember the valuable lesson of save. Save, indeed. Save often. Ooh, right. Goodbye, Satchet. Is there any way to actually tell what the size of Pokemon is? Their dex injuries? Because it's, they're all the same size. Okay. This isn't Legends Arceus. Then I'm not gonna get... Shinx? I, I mean, I just mean I can't, like... None of them are in the decks that we have. I mean, you could try some of your smaller ones. I mean, I think, like, Shinx, Shaman, Fion are all some, like, smaller ones. Uh, maybe my, like, Masquerade. No, he's big. He's big. Is he? Like, two or three feet. Oh. That's a big butterfly, man. <laughs> Terrifying, isn't it? I mean, kind of not, though. Like, imagine if a butterfly could land on your shoulder like a bird does. Like, would it still be scary? Uh. You're Floet. It counts. Oh. I, I, I mean, completely forgot about Floet, to be honest. Now I have my Aromatisse back. Back? Well, yes, because I did that in the last episode, but oh. <laughs> I didn't know that because I grabbed the statue and I was like, oh, oh, right. So some, some of his mount levels might be like slightly different, but we're not too worried about it. And don't worry, this is not joining the team for now. Nah, we don't have an open spot for it. <laughs> probably because of what it's linked to, which I think it's is like, fritzy, so. I think it's like a watchdog. That doesn't sound I, I don't know. I'm guessing here. Oh, well. So, in this episode, we will be going to the next gym. Anyways, though, we need to go over to the right of the city and get the counter. Um, you were telling me right before we started that you had some uh, question you wanted to ask. It's more of a fun one to me. Okay. So, what do you think is the game that has most affected your life? Other than Pokemon. Okay, I was say, uh... Aside from the game we are playing. I mean... I could allow Pokemon, but that would be a cheap answer. It, it does feel like kind of a cheap answer, but like, I do think it's probably the most accurate answer, if I would say. Um, I guess I'm fighting this guy. Uh, you can get an encounter if you want to. I was trying to get the item. Oh, this reminds me. Uh, there's the other route we also need to go to at the Lost Hotel, too. Route 16, which Route 15 does connect. Oh, okay, that'll work then. Um, do you have an answer already ready for this? Um, I want to say yes. I do have one that is also Pokemon related as well. Okay. I'll get that one first. It's Red Rescue Team. Oh, I thought you were going to say Pokemon Pinball, which you also played a lot of. I do really like Pokemon Pinball. But uh, Red Rescue Team was one of those first games that taught me to feel emotions about a game. I, I remember when you got Red Rescue Team. I was jealous, though. <laughs> They think you deleted my save file, you dick! I, I did later on, but like, I remember because you got it through the Boys and Girls Club, and I realized uh, that I asked for like a book, and that was the wrong choice, man. I wanted to play that game so bad. It's a good game. It is a good game. I, I still like that game. I don't know how well I could play it now. Um, I think you could do just fine with it, but that one taught me Video games can make you feel. Indeed, they, they can. Stab me in the freaking heart. <laughs> uh, man, that's like it, it's a tough question in general. Like, mm -hmm. I can think of a lot of like general games, but like ones like that have really impacted me. I don't know if there are a ton. My other option would probably be Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. The Zelda games impacted me in different ways too. 
I can think of a lot of memories um, while gaming. Like a lot of the, like some of them, you know, go back to our X Men days. Those were that was a really in influential. I already have that. Um, I forget you learned that. I remember at a daycare I used to go to since mom had to work and we would go there after school. Um, they had an N64 and they had like a, an NFL game that I would play and I would always play as the Green Bay Packers. And I don't even <laughs> remember what that game was called, but I always had a lot of fun playing it. Probably one of the Madden games, though, I guess. Probably, but it was like an early one. Wait. Oh, sweet. Thank God. Uh, Smash Bros. is a good one. I believe Brawl would be your specialty. Uh, yeah, definitely. Well, Melee, though. Your Kirby was. Melee is still there. I think Brawl would be a better fit for uh, the topic because of um, how we really got to play it most of the time was back at, you know, uh, e what was the cop? e -cash? I I know what you're talking about. E-Bash. E-Bash, yeah. Which e -bash. is a video game rental place that, be honest, I'm not sure if it's even still I don't existing. think, I think it fell apart. Um, like the whole company? I think so, yeah. Uh, but Evash was where I, I know I started playing, uh, is that also where you started playing Brawl? Uh, somewhat. Okay. So that's where I played it and, like, you had to pay, like, by the hour for playing it, essentially. Yeah. It was an interesting idea. Yeah. It was a, a okay place, I'd say. Not great in its premise, but... They're trying to bring back the idea of arcades, which... Yeah. Kind of missed the idea. I'm also cutting a pocket. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. I was like, hey, look, that's what level it would be if you were fighting it in BDSP. True. Let's hope I don't die. But it... Oh, no. I, I don't know if I realistically could actually pick one, because, like, all those games hit, like, different times and were influential. Mm-hmm. Like, I know Zelda games were really big for me, person. What? Is that Kirwim's move? That's White Kirwim's signature technique. Bruh. <laughs> Wait, do you have anyone who can sell power herbs? Uh... I don't know. If you do, then this isn't a bad play. But it doesn't, like, lower your anything. Oh, oh, I see, I, I see why. I see why. Mm -hmm. And I'll wait for encounter. Okay. Uh... But yeah, all of those are important it's, games, and I don't think I can just name just one of them. Yeah, it's tough. The X-Men game has mem good memories for me, because, you know, we got to play it together. Oh, yeah. And the fact that it was drop in, drop out, co-op is mm -hmm. really nice, because local co-op is something that I feel is lacking nowadays. It kind of is, and it's also kind of trash most of the time when they try to do it. Like, they knew what they were doing, but why? Why'd you, why'd you have to kill it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of rough. Uh, if you want to go and get the thing out, you can. I got a nice haircut today. It feels good. It feels nice and light. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Beard is growing in nicely. And apparently, I've been told it looks decent. Mm. So, you know, that, that, that helps my ego a little bit. Fair enough. It's like, oh, yay. Don't you dare burn me. I'm not a big beard person myself. I don't really care for it. I prefer being a baby. Yeah, but sometimes I get lazy. Your beard is barely visible. I mean, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell right now, is, it, is the translucence working on it? I put some oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, quite well. Thank, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, man. You're... But yeah, so this, like I said, it was a tough question. All right, then. I'll follow with, with a slightly different version of it. Which Pokemon game would you say as effective the most helps drive you into the series i feel like that is an easy option for me it would just be like uh pokemon silver was that entry point and it's still influential today uh but even still like it got further thanks to uh harkle's soul silver remakes which 10 out of 10 and i put so, they, so much time into them they do have issues yeah we don't neither of us are going to deny that here yeah, I, I could still um, say nowadays that uh, that second gen is probably still like the weakest gen in, for like uh, the general story, gameplay, leveling scale. All of it's still it's still the weakest, but I zappy. I can still like it for the reasons that I like it. Or Gold Soul Silver help. 
it helped the like ROM hacks help it so much more because they actually balance the level scaling. Though I will say thank you to the Safari Zone in Heartgold Soul Silver for actually letting us get Larvitar before post game. Pretty much. True. Uh, so, dude, I'm gonna get all these stupid flutes that are useless. <laughs> which I'm sorry, the Zapdos is making like the worst decision. It's I, ancient powering a Bastiodon. Bet it doesn't have an electric type move then. You could at least go for Drill Pack for Stab! Fire Grass. Like, this is... It's got... Hey, it does have an electric move! Charge! <laughs> oh, am I okay? Hold on, I didn't, I didn't think about this. <laughs> man, man, no! 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 <laughs> please, please take it out! Please, please... No, oh, it's no. not. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Thank God! Why the burn? You survived on one. That's not fair. I saw it. I just saw it once it was one. I was like, no. Oh, that's so not fair. It's just like when you got poisoned earlier in the series. It's like, uh, 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 my defense. That's a tough one to lose. Oh, both defenses for us. Uh, Did you have anyone you could have swapped in? I had a bunch of things I could have swapped in. <laughs> I just didn't think about the fact of it being a fire type. Uh, going back. Damn it. <laughs> well, on the good side, we open up more things. No, we don't. We don't have a replacement pair. Do I don't think so. It's a rock and grass. Get the grass, get the encounter, it's fine. Oh, horde! Horde. What's my options? Okay. I'm worried. Um... Right. I'm um, very worried. Uh... Boy. I think Reg Ice has to die. Yeah, he's still really low level, so he probably still has it. And I'm worried about him taking out all the encounters. Yeah. I don't really know what you want to call. Like, I would say either the Meta Titan or the Braviary. Do you have the Meta Chanite? I don't remember. And I can't look. Yeah. Go ahead and try and snag yours so I can figure out. Well, I'm thinking the Meta Titan. Well, that'd be invalid. Is it primary psychic or fighting? I believe fighting, and they're both males anyway. True. The true. hit online is only male. Oh, good point, good point. I always slightly forget that, and then I double back in my head like, I know, hit my chain, where's the skirt? <laughs> he does. <laughs> uh, I mean. Nope, have it. Alright, so. I think I see if I can get a horde. You have honeys? I think I might have one left. I'd say use it, because I think you had a place that sells them. Braviary is another case where we'd call it a uh, flying type and not yeah. normal. He has too many normal types. Don't normal type. But yeah, I mean, if you want to call a Medjian, go for it. Go ahead and take out that Reg Eyes. Uh... That's the pair. I'm really happy that I didn't crit. I'm glad AC's blow is more defensive. That's the problem, is I know Stone Edge is crit. It's a high crit move. It is? Yep. Man, that's a really forgettable high crit move. Hey, by the way, funny thing. So, I was watching um, some of the other content creators. They were playing through this. And they're like, if you turned the Lysander's hair, just like flipped it, so that his long hair was his beard, it looks so funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, look, I get an item. What'd I get? Another fossil! <sighs> oh, I have hidden power. That's nice. You make it so hard. Stop getting fossils! <laughs> <laughs> the game is throwing them at me! What am I supposed to do? Give me some of your good fossils. <laughs> I mean, I'd happily give some fossils to you for the betterment of the party. Some good ones, though, not the bad ones. 
I mean, mine have fixed results. You want my Articuno that, so that way we both can't use it? I mean, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye. Thank you for ranting about your evil plot. And are you just sending those to me, or are you sending those holocaust out to everyone? I kind of was just you. Yeah. I mean, sending it out to everyone, I think, will be more amusing in my mind. No, I like it how it's like, hey, only you, 12-year-old, I'm sending you messages. Help! Pedophile! Please respond. Uh, I don't have strength either. Okay, but good news. Bye. Oh, wait, we can go down in there. Yeah. But I have made it to town, so I believe that is the end of this episode. It is indeed the end of this episode. So we appreciate you guys viewing this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And you can check out the next episode over on Hyland's channel on Wednesday. All right. Bye bye.